Most high saints of God on this last great Sunday. A day that we never saw before and a day that we'll never ever see again. Life's just too grand to be better. Um, did Sunday morning prayer and God is an awesome God. I've learned along my journey to love to commune with God. And what I begin to hear in my spirit is He's going to pour you out a blessing for your faithfulness in this place in the name of Jesus. It may not come the way man want to see it. But you shall reap if you faint not in this place. Because if you be faithful over a few things, I will make you a ruler over many in this place in the name of Jesus. So strongholds that have been placed upon your life has been broken inside this place in the name of Jesus. I glorify God in this place, most high saints of God. Nothing will be withheld from the saints in God's chosen whom he loved in this place in the name of Jesus. I love the Lord. And I just had to come on to do just a brief clip here because to be honest with y'all I'm still learning the zoom and it could be somebody in in the waiting room and I'm still trying to figure out how to let them in but God said this is a trial and a test of your faith to see if you will keep on keeping on speaking and professing my word even if nobody ever said a word in the name of Jesus are you after a relationship with Christ Jesus or are you after to be seen of by man in this place in the name of Jesus? I glorify God. He'll hide you behind the crevices of his veil in this place in the name of Jesus. And preserve you for a time that he desired for the latter days in this place in the name of Jesus. He's preparing you for the latter days in this place in the name of Jesus. I glorify God in this place. But you must go through a pruning season in your life in the name of Jesus. A breaking away and separating for a week from the child in this place in the name of Jesus. He says it in Isaiah. There's no searching of understanding of him in this place in the name of Jesus. I glorify God. Everything has been covered with the blood that is concerning your life in this place in the name of Jesus. I hear no weapon that is, and that's just not a cliche. No weapon that is formed against you shall prosper in this place in the name of Jesus. You will see and you will receive the blessing in this place in the name of Jesus. And I heard him say, after Monday, you give me 21 days. You give me time and begin to trust in your flesh and see them not bless you in this place in the name of Jesus. My, 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 in the name of Jesus. The floodgates. You watch. I've learned that along my journey, I don't care what it look like. I don't care what you think you see me going through. Because you got to learn how to walk by faith and not by sight in this place. Everything that God has birthed out of my spirit, it come to pass. This is too grand in the name of Jesus. Eyes have not seen. Ears have not heard. Nor has it entered into the hearts of man what it is that you are about to become in Christ Jesus in this place in the name of Jesus. I glorify God. Holy way his word will not come to pass is if you faint along the journey. Is if you stop along the journey in the name of Jesus. I don't care what it look like. He said the mind cannot even begin to comprehend in this place in the name of Jesus. See they looking for it in, in cars, Mercedes, Benz, and mansions in this place in the name of Jesus. I allowed the separation for that relationship in the name of Jesus. I allowed you.
you to go through it in the name of Jesus. So that you can see the true heart of man in this place in the name of Jesus. It says it in, uh, it says it in the book of Genesis that he, God said, I would never ever destroy the, uh, the race of man. But he destroyed it because of the wickedness of man's heart in this place in the name of Jesus. And he said, I will never destroy it again like that. The only way that you alone this journey, you can self-destruct in this place in the name of Jesus. By not having faith in my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus. And what God is beginning to birth out of my spirit is the understanding of Ezekiel. So that's what the Bible study will be about. The perfect of the Ezekiel's journey. Why he bring judgment upon his people? Because he chastened those whom he love in this place. And the, the, the title that God gave me, the national Gethsemane glory prayer in the name of Jesus. Before the glory cloud followed the children of Israel they was in an ugly place in the name of Jesus you have to go through the ugly places in, in Christ Jesus in order for the glory to shine upon it in the name how would you know the glory if you don't go through the ugly in the name of Jesus Gethsemane is where Jesus bowed down and he dropped tear droplets of blood ran down his, from his face in the name of Jesus but he said nevertheless Lord not my will but let thine will be done in this place in the name of Jesus you're going to go through the lament season, the welling out of your belly, crying seasons in this place in your name, in the name of Jesus. But you got to learn how to let go, learn how to forsake all others along this way in the name of Jesus. I glorify God in this place. And I don't know who this is for, but I was up early. I had an encounter with a young man and, and used to, I don't even do that. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't have, I don't have dealings with people that I work with of the opposite sex in the name of Jesus. But I didn't want to be mean, so I was like, okay, that's fine. I, I, you know, I'm, I'm gonna step outside myself, and we exchange numbers. But God began to allow me to see. He said, "See, I'm trying to show you what man would do, cause somebody been praying for a mate in this place in the name of Jesus." You got to prepare yourself and be yoked with Christ Jesus in a perfect relationship with Christ Jesus in the name of Jesus. And he'll send his spirit in the form of flesh to be in relationship with you in the name of Jesus. I glorify God in his spirit. Your relationship ain't right with Christ in the name of Jesus. You wonder why you keep going through breakups in this place. You wonder why you keep arguing in this place in the name of Jesus. Because you're arguing against the things of God inside this place. Get your relationship right with Christ in this place and watch everything in everything around you will begin to line up. And I gotta take that home. I gotta sweep around my own front door in the name of Jesus. I gotta get the plank out of my own eye in the name of Jesus. And that's what we gotta be. That's the type of Christian body that he is calling in the name of Jesus. That's why he chastened those he loved. And the uh, Ezekiel is a is, he's always proclaiming judgment. Don't nobody want to hear judgment. They want to hear prosperity. They want to hear wealth. They want to hear love in the name of Jesus. How? When you don't even know how to love yourself in the name of Jesus. Because he said the greatest commandment is to love thy God with all thine heart and with all thy soul in the name of Jesus. And the second greatest commandment is to love thy neighbor as you love yourself. Look how society is treating one another. Do you even love yourself in the name of Jesus? Uh, how can you be in a perfect relationship when your relationship is not right with Christ inside this place in the name of Jesus? That came from the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. If you humble yourself, he'll just speak straight through you in the name of Jesus. On this life's too grand day, my sisters and brothers in Christ, y'all be blessed because the prayer is going to keep on keeping on. The Bible study is going to keep on keeping on. Because I'm out of something in Christ Jesus. If I could just plant a seed in the name of Jesus. I know God will come along and water it in this place. My desire is for all of us to be 
enjoying harmony with Christ Jesus in this place on this life's too grand day.